In your exercise folder for this chapter, you should have a document called styles.psd. What we're going to do, go ahead and open it. We're going to look at applying styles. I'll admit that when character and paragraph styles came out in Photoshop, I thought, why? I don't write books in Photoshop. I don't create the great American novel in Photoshop. I've written 17 books. I've never used Photoshop to make one of them. But as I began using them, I realized they are kind of fun and they're easy to use and they help me get things done quickly because I like to use things I've done over and over again. So what we have here is this layer and it's got this text in it. I've got a couple of subheadings working with Photoshop styles and down here is another subheading begin with the end in mind, which actually is a Stephen Covey expression. What I want to do is create some subheads and I want to use them over and over again. So let's start by picking up, oh, let's go over here. And we have paragraph styles and character styles. And we have those because I am in the typography workspace. Don't forget that. I'm going to bring those over so we can really see them. Let's kind of stick one about here. And let's see if we can get the other one out too without getting on top of our text. All right, we're ready. Basic paragraph is here. Character style is here. They each have a plus sign next to them, meaning I change the text over here. That's not what it normally expects. That's fine. Don't worry about that. Pick up your type tool. Come over here and select the type working with Photoshop styles. That's going to be a subheading. Now it's up to you. Decide what you want to do to it. Let's do this. Let me actually move this down a little bit more here. And let's go into our character palette. Now I am using Minion Pro. The reason I'm using that font is it's pretty almost guaranteed you're going to have it. But if you don't, this is what's going to happen when you open this document. It's going to say it doesn't have the font. It's going to use another font. But chances are you probably won't have to because I've got all kinds of stuff up here I can use. I got condensed and obliques and all kinds of stuff. And I want my headlines, my subheadings to be in bold italic. That's what I want. So I'm going down to bold italic. I have it selected so it does change. And I want it bigger. It's at 18 point right now. Let's take that to about 30. Let's see what that does for us. Okay. Now I'm going to go into my paragraph options. What I want here is I want some spacing after this before it gets to here. So all you have to do with paragraph options, remember, is just be in the paragraph. And working with Photoshop styles, basically, well, it's a paragraph. So we're going to come over here and get into the space after option right there. And let's give ourselves a number. I would try maybe like a, I don't know, a 10. I like that. That's going to work fine. So I like this enough, but I don't want to go through all the steps I just did to make that thing. I mean, we could change the color. We could do anything you wanted to. I want to be able to use that with a click of a button. Most of you probably understand paragraph and character styles. You just maybe didn't expect them to come into Photoshop. So over here under paragraph styles, that's going to be a paragraph style. But before we actually click the new button down here, let's do this. Come up here and select that paragraph. Make sure you have triple click does it. One, two, three, paragraph. Now come click the new button. Paragraph style one. Go ahead, double click. Give it a name. Subheading one. And you can see everything is here. All the stuff is there. Click OK. You've just made your first paragraph style. Let's do a character style. Let's come into here and decide that we want some of these words to be different, like maybe bold. So we're going to come over here and select a word. We're going to come over here and change from italic into, how about semi bold italic? I'm going to go ahead and create a new character style. And we'll double click on it. And there it is, semi bold. We'll call this italic one because you might have more than one italic. Click OK. Keep this up. Make as many as you want. The next day comes up, or we're still on this one, and I'll tell you what, I don't want to have to redo begin with the end in mind with all the stuff I put on that. So if I come over here and select it, then I come back over here. There's a little plus sign. Don't worry about that. Just click this button here. And there you go. I can come up to one of these other words. I want to do the same thing here. And maybe select that word. Again, come over here. Select italic 1. And then click this little button right here. 
and you can do that all day long, but that's not all. What if you decide after you've done this that you want to change something? Like maybe you don't like, we'll do something simple, like you don't like the color of your subheading, but you've used it a lot. I don't want to go to each one one at a time, but that's why we have a style. Because if we come into our style right here, and you don't even have to have anything selected. If we double click on subheading one and change the color, say, to uh, red, come back out again and click OK, they all turn red. The other advantage that you have is these are always there for you. No matter what document you open up, you say, man, I'd like to use that subheading again. You've got it in paragraph styles or character styles. I am really glad that Adobe decided to add paragraph and character styles into Photoshop. On to the next.